antibodies that is MAB or MOB however you say in this case what we have uh, depended on that we have extracted the antibodies from human blood we have cloned them we have mass manufactured them under controlled environment and we have introduced them as our savior so that these antibodies these monoclonal antibodies will be first of all detecting it has the capability to bind specifically to that same epitope it will bind to that part of that spike protein where there is a mutation it will bind there it will detect and it will bind there and thus it will block the infection from spreading to other healthy cells this is how it will work so in case of monoclonal antibody this is how the process is done now another fact is that we have so long depended on plasma therapy also in case of plasma therapy what is done is those patients who had recovered from COVID-19 we have taken their antibodies and we have introduced them injected them into the patients so this is one process where we are taking a, a plasma from from the infectious people who have recovered and in this case we are harvesting we are preparing that is monoclonal antibodies we are preparing artificially we are cloning the unique WBC cells and then we are preparing so in case of monoclonal antibodies these are able to resist mutant last point of the discussion that is the herd immunity look vaccination is a way to combat the infection and mass vaccination what do I say? What do I really mean by herd immunity? Herd immunity is ensuring the fact that maximum people or a larger proportion of a population gets vaccinated. That is, I would say here 70%. If we are able to attain this 70% immunity, that is mass population, which is such a huge number. If we are able to attain this mass population immunity, then we are able to attain herd immunity. Herd immunity does not mean that a per, an individual will not be infected by this virus. It may happen that an individual, say an individual is getting infected by this virus. This person has got infected and he starts mixing with four or five other people who are not infected. So naturally he is able to transmit the infection. So what happens if these people are vaccinated? If majority of them are vaccinated, we can control the whole herd from getting the infection that is the transmissibility and the rest of the people also can be saved. So herd immunity does not ensure this fact that any individual will not be infected by this virus but it does ensure that a 70% population if attaining vaccination that is herd immunity can save this global hazard which is the coronavirus and with the highly transmissible variant also we can so herd immunity that is a mass population a greater population if we are able to vaccinate if we are able to provide them vaccination i think we can attain herd immunity and thus we can save ourselves from this virus. Natural immunity is, we will find that there is body's immune system which is some of the patients, like this person who has uh, got this infection of COVID-19 starts mixing with 10 other people. Out of them, maybe five or six people have got the infection. And from there, uh, from those infected people again, maybe two or three have survived. They have developed the antibodies, they have developed their immunity, they have developed their natural immune response. That is the natural immunity. In herd immunity, if I am talking about the natural immunity, we cannot depend on that natural immunity because natural immunity means those people who have recovered from this, in this case the viral infection, they have recovered from uh, viral infections and uh, they are developing the antibodies, they, are provide, they have their immune system equipped. But in case of natural immunity uh, of such a uh, virus which is able to cause serious grave hazard we cannot depend on it we have to we have to have the vaccination process going on as far as the mass population is concerned though we have means for herd immunity we have seen successful results in case of measles in case of whooping cough we have seen chickenpox these are su showing successful results but in case of uh, 
vaccination at this stage for little kids which is at risk and still now we are not having any vaccine for the little ones for the growing kids so we need to be very alert with the present situation